Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. So for today, I am going to go over two ways of adding a Turk block, a multi-protocol uh, remote I.O. block into your project for an RS Logic 5000 um, Bradley PLC. So um, the first way I'll show you is through an EDS file, and then the second way I'll show you is through the catalog files. Um, so I'll take you like the long way and then <laughs> the short way, so feel free to just skip ahead if you're not interested in doing it this way, but I will go over it just in case. And so first thing you want to do here is go ahead and go to your favorite Turk website, uh, turk.us, and if you type in the part number of your Turk block, which in this case I'm working with a brand new Fin20-4 IOL. It's our new IOLink master, and it's in the um, form factor of a Fin20. So if you've ever been a fan of our Fin20s, which have been super popular, um, this is definitely something to keep an eye out for IOLink masters out there. So uh, once you find our page by typing in the part number, you can go to the download tab and click on configuration files and here is where you will download both the EDS files and the catalog files. So I've already downloaded all of that. You'll see a folder here for just Ethernet IP which are your EDS files and then um, I'll go over this later for the catalog files. Those are the L5K files. So once I've got my project open, I've got nothing in here. Um, what I'll go ahead and do is go to tools and go to EDS hardware installation tool. By the way, if you are running like a version 19, um, you'll probably won't see this option here below. So um, I think this will only work on versions 20 and above. So if you're working on version 19, you may be more interested in catalog files. I think that might be the best option. I'm not sure. So um, go ahead and click on EDS wizard there. Okay, so now we'll just go through the motions here, register an EDS file, click next. Uh, in this case, I'll just do a single file and I'll go ahead and point it to where I'm, I've got it saved already. So in this case, we're working with for IOL revision 2.7, open, click next. Eventually it'll find it and click next. There's our little Turk icon. Okay. And we are done with adding the EDS file into RS Logix. So now we have to add it to our controller organizer here. So the way we'll do that is by right clicking on it. Once you right click on it, you'll select new module. And once that opens, you'll go ahead and just do a search for Turk. And you'll find that we've got a few devices on here already. Find your device and click create. In this case, we do have to give it a name. So I'll just name it the part number there and I'll give it a private network. So it was 109, and we'll make sure and click change here. Just one setting is the integers for IO. Click OK. Click Yes. Okay, we'll click out of all of that now. So you'll notice that we have this little Turk icon there. So it's been successfully added to our project. Um, one little thing here to note is that you, oops, didn't mean to do that. If I go here to my controller tags and I open up my inputs, for example, you'll notice I don't have tag descriptions for anything. So this can be a little annoying. Um, looks like we do for some stuff, 
mostly our parameters here. So what I would recommend in this case is going to your internal web server and go ahead and look at the input data mapping here if you are doing everything over the, over the EDS file. This will give you a general idea of what words mean what and how everything is distributed. So this can help you, um, you know, you may not be using a lot, so it might not be a big deal, but um, this is one way of adding a Turk block into your existing RS Logic 4000 project. Okay, so now for the second method of adding your block to your RS Logic 5000 project is to use catalog files. And in my opinion, this is a lot easier and quicker to do. When you download your EDS files, you'll also download the catalog, catalog files along with it. So for example, you'll have your, your EDS files all in one group with different revisions. And then the L5K files are the actual, what we call catalog files. In this case, I opened up the version 19 full version. So I get like every block on there. It's already done and pre-configured. So I, that's all I've done. I, on this right hand side, I opened up a RS Logix 5000 with, um, I opened up a whole new project with, with the ethernet IP file, with the L5K file that I just showed you. So as you can see here on the controller organizer section, you can see that we've got like every part number in here already. So if you open up your project on the left hand side, um, this for this example, this is already already has an ethernet card on there and but it doesn't have anything else in here. So I've got nothing in this project. In this case, we're working with a Fen 20. All I'm going to do here is literally drag and drop to my Ethernet card. So now that it's dropped on here, um, all I have to do is just, you know, give it the IP address of that block. So if I open it up, I, I do have to give it a name. In this case, I'll just leave it as the part number. Um, but I do have to give it a uh, IP address here in this case it's 192.168.1.109 I believe okay so if I go here to my controller tags the biggest advantage in my opinion of using catalog files is that you actually get the tag description on the right hand side so you can actually interpret all of your data right so this makes it a lot easier to work with and um, it's a lot quicker. You saw how fast that was. So this concludes my video on adding our Turk blocks into your RSLogix 5000 projects.